Well, it isn't rare, of course, to hear about stories of buildings being hijacked, especially in the city of Johannesburg. As part of our focus on crime syndicates, uh, we're going to take a look at this particular criminal enterprise. Spokesperson for the city of Johannesburg's Group Forensic and Investigation Services Unit, you'll know the name by now, I'm sure, Lucky Sandane, uh, joining us. Hello to you, Lucky. Good to have you with us. Appreciate uh, your time. Uh, for some people who might not understand how a building gets hijack just give me the the highlight version of this how does it generally happen how do you hijack a building good morning Garrett. thanks for having me <clears throat> so what would normally happen someone will come and pretend to be the rightful owner or pretend to have bought the property from the rightful owner and tell the tenants and show fraudulent documents to the tenants and take over the property they will then instruct the tenants to pay rent monthly rental to them. They would collect on behalf of the owner. So that's how property hijacking happens. So the owner would, would not have access to the property. They'll be uh, prevented from accessing the property. They'll be intimidated, uh, threatened, and, and in, in some instances, beaten up. So are we talking more commercial buildings that are being hijacked, more privately owned buildings, or is it 50-50 for both? Because I, I struggle to understand how a private building can get hijacked. Are you talking about someone who's moved in as tenants and they just simply refuse to move out? Is that the same thing? Uh, we're talking, uh, it's across the city, we're talking high-rise buildings, we're talking uh, private-owned properties. I mean, just the other day we handed over a property that was hijacked in Deep Grove, Soweto. So the the hijacker said hijacked the property from the owner. So what happens is that people, as I indicated earlier, they will tell you not to pay rent to, to someone. So what they do, they will get their own people who will take, um, who will pay them monthly uh, rental. Mm. You as an owner will not collect a cent from the hijacked property. Uh, some of these buildings are bought. So these these people have got information um, on, 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 on properties that are going to be auctioned by the banks. So they will have first-hand information. So before you, as the owner, take a, occupy that building or the property that you have bought, say, for instance, from an auction, they'll be there. You know, they'll tell you you can't access. And it's difficult. These people work with uh, various people. So it's a syndicate. There's people mm -hmm. from these offices. They've got people in SEPs. They've, uh, they pay our officials as well. So it's a syndicate. They have a lot of people um, in their pockets. So it's very difficult to deal with it. But uh, we are trying. I mean, just last week on Tuesday, we had 20 complainants in a single day coming to, to report uh, about this uh, alleged property hijack I was operating in Johannesburg, Mr. Sean Oshia. James Oshia, sorry. How do we try and protect ourselves from something like this? Because it sounds, uh, Lucky, tell me if you agree or not, it sounds like it's something that you can only react to once it happens. It doesn't sound like something you can prevent happening in the first place, or is that unfair? Yeah, it, unfortunately, uh, it's like that. It's, it's something that we, we, we react to it. But uh, <clears throat> we, we always try to encourage people or property owners, those that are, are renting out their properties, to have securities in their properties because uh, it, then it's not easy in that instance for people to come and overpower you and put in their people uh, and tell whoever not to pay rent. It's it's difficult. Not just last month also, something that I might say, a property hijacker was sentenced uh, to, to two years a lady. <clears throat> Uh, was sentenced to two years in prison. Uh, she had hijacked a property or a flat uh, somewhere in the in the in the east of Johannesburg. It doesn't seem like a very high sentence for someone who's caused the kind of chaos that she did. Did you agree with that? Uh, what some would say is a very lenient sentence, or would you have preferred uh, a more harsher sentence? I must say it is a lenient sentence, uh, considering what uh, this person has done. I mean, people lose uh, thousands and thousands uh, of friends on a monthly basis. I mean, others lose uh, millions because you find the owner buying a high-rise building in the inner city of Johannesburg. 
and that property, say for instance, it costs five million, and um, he, he ends up, he or she ends up losing out mm. because the property hijackers don't even pay for services. Those uh, buildings or properties are not even serviced. So we are disappointed with the sentence that she she re received. We feel that it is lenient. I mean, we we must set an example. You know, uh, if evidence is there, and one is caught. So we must we must uh, the law must take its course, but then also set an example uh, so that people don't continue to do this. I mean, we have over 1,852 buildings or properties that are hijacked in the uh, city of Johannesburg. It's not only in the inner city, but across Johannesburg. And we encourage people to please come forward and report to us. We are trying as a city of Johannesburg to deal with this matter. Um, it's a big, it's the biggest challenge that we are currently mm. faced with, but we are handing over properties to the rightful owners. I mean, so far we have handed over 53 uh, properties to the rightful owners since the establishment of our unit in 2017. I didn't realise the situation was quite as bad as that. Over 1,800 buildings hijacked uh, and uh, more than 50 returned as a result of contacting the city of Johannesburg uh, and their Group Forensic and Investigation Services Unit. Lucky Sindane, thank you very much indeed for uh, bringing it to our attention just how serious uh, the building hijackings is all around the city of Johannesburg.